The Night Before Christmas. It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung in the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads and Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a dash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should I view but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. Santa always knows if you're awake or not awake. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whisked and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Donner, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. Donner. And no, here it's Donder. Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all, as dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the house. Can't do that, Adriana. Um, up to the housetop, the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then, in the twinkling I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew my head in and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. Santa and his doesn't look like that. clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he'd flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. Well, this is Santa in a different country, and Santa's in different places all look a little bit different. Like, like our Santa? His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke had encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a rounded belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. <gasps> My goodness. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. Look at all those toys. And away they all flew, like the down on a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove out of sight. Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night.
Santa says, Merry Christmas.